Hey everyone, welcome to day 67 of year 2 of Awesome. So today I'm going to be talking more about the Californian education system because today I received an email from the president of my college stating that the uh, mid-year voting for tax extensions was denied by the state legislature. So originally, the this tax extension vote was going to be done because of a huge the huge budget crisis that's going on in California right now. They they had to cut a lot of their budget and a lot of it is coming from education. Now, if extensions were added, uh, this would have made budgeting a little bit easier and a little more secure, but they, they didn't allow it for it to go to vote. So now what's going to happen is my college, much like a lot of other colleges, are losing about 40% of their funding. Uh, my college particularly is losing $64 million. That's a lot of fucking money especially for higher education, we should be spending, we should be pooling our money towards higher education, not not trying to cut it as severely as possible. Now, what that causes is a loss of services, it's a loss of over 500 staff members, it's a loss of uh, financial aid for over 13,000 students. There's, there's nothing that can be done. Uh, in, in the state's mind, Education isn't up there on the list. It's, it's trying to eliminate the deficit. And I, I understand that. I understand that we should eliminate the deficit, but not by cutting education. This is the state's way of putting in a long-term investment in order to make sure that, that, that money is put back into the state system later on once we as college students have moved on into our careers and are paying taxes. The state is looking at it as an immediate as an immediate answer to a question that should be answered in long term. And I don't know what could be done in its stead, but I ultimately feel that cutting cutting funding for education is ridiculously stupid. It's basically putting a band-aid on an amputation. It's it's not going to work. It, it's it's going to ultimately lead to higher deficit in the future and a loss of education for many now, which then, in turn, leads to even more deficit in the future. And so then it's going to go on to the self-perpetuating cycle where it's just all going to go downhill. Higher education is in place to provide knowledge for individuals for when they enter their career paths. And it provides us with a well-educated workforce that allows us to sort of just pull back in into the state's revenue. But when we're not educated, we can't do that. And then we have this huge reliance on uh, on borrowing, and we have this huge reliance on hoping that these big companies are still going to be around once the state is is unable to stay stable. It, it's it's just a really really poor decision. It's going to cost a lot of people their education. I mean, if it's just if it's thirteen thousand students alone at my school that are affected by this statewide, that number has to be in the million range. There's something that needs to be done about that. I'll see you guys tomorrow.